The greatest debate in EU4 is, is the greatest nation a wide nation or is the greatest nation a tall nation? We are going to end the debate right now. This is the custom nation I have created, the Ultimac. Feedback here. This is the big orange boy of Europe using all 800 points. But let's not talk about our ruler. Ooh. Uh, let's not talk about our air. Oh, dear. And let's also not talk about our ideas. Yeah, they're all over the place. On the other hand, this isn't a single player game. What do we have here? Ludiland, an empire of an OPM. He will be playing as a big, tall boy. He will be competing against me for the ultimate crown of who is best, wide or tall. I, I joke, we're gonna actually gonna be working together. What is our objectives? Well, I'm gonna try and buff Ludi as much as possible and help give him a helping hand and uh, see where that takes us. This video is sponsored by Paradox Interactive. This game is currently hosted by Ludi. He has all the DLC. I have none. The reason why I have access to all the DLC features is because he has the DLC. EU4 this weekend is currently free. So download the game, get your buddy who's got the DLC to host you, and you get to access all of the DLC in a multiplayer game experience together. One, play together. Two, you've got access to all the DLC for absolutely nothing. It's free. But not only that, Base game is 75% off, and most of the DLC are 50% off. Click the link in the description below. Our first objective will be to demolish a lot of forts, because our income right now is looking incredibly bad. Hello there. Hello. How are we doing, sir? Right now, I'm excited to find out if my big boy can wrestle your big tall boy. Are you ready for the wrestle of a century? This oh, is God. smack down to a whole new level. Okay, I need to know how, m how many... Troops do you have? 26,000. 76,000? 26, 26. 26, I thought 76,000. I was like, wow. Not quite that big. I'm big, but not that big. All right, well, did you sell your crown lands, sir? Did you sell your crown lands? That's the big question here. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm, at the moment, I'm currently deleting forts. Wait, why are you deleting forts? Oh, yeah, because you have a lot of forts, oh, don't dude. you? I start with like 50. <laughs> Well, I like the fact that you went Zoroastrian, so it's not just me that has a unique, cool religion, I see. Um, I wanted to be as goofy as possible, and I succeeded in every way humanly possible. Fair enough. Fair enough. This is probably not deliberate, but our flags are actually very similar. Like, we've got like like a, a shape with a, an icon in the center, and they're both green. Anyway, let's bury the hatchet. It's time to become an alliance. Confirm. So, as you can see right now, I understand this is kind of a competitive scenario, but we are technically going to be working together. I guess just the end goal is going to be how much can we push out from our original position and become, uh, well, quote unquote, the best. Define best, eh? And conveniently, uh, my entire nation is stateless to begin with. So uh, I have a lot of autonomy to gain. Begin the mission of stating everything. So let me read this. Ludiland would like to transfer 50% of its trade power in all our shared nodes to them. Do you accept this? Wow, this is a interesting offer. I have to really have a good think about this one, you know? I have to really think about this one. Mediterranean boys. So tell me, Ludi, what's the first part of the plan? What are you going to do? The first part of the plan, I am going to attack the English and take a big chunk out of their lands. But first off, I'm going to wait until my tech gets up to tech four at least, military at least. So, as I said before, none of my lands were stated. So we've managed to stay all of our territory. I mean, every single bit. We are really only just, we are just, oh, actually, no, I'm totally unbelievably wrong here. We're massively over our governing capacity. Okay, that is going to be a major problem because if I declare any war and take any territory, I'm going to have a massive coalition and also so advisor cost 206%. Oof. So uh, in a very surprise take, Aragon's declared war. Um, but surprisingly, England's not joined them. So Aragon, against the world power of feedback here, thinks he can stand against me. Ha. And here come the elephants. I'll admit, these are incredibly oh aggressive Aragonese. Morale is not very good. This is Rome, guys. Listen, I'm massive. I'm big. I've got lots of money, lots of manpower. I can't afford to lose, okay? This is a luxury that Ludi will not get. If Ludi gets stat wiped once, he is fudged for the rest of the game. I have the ability to lose. That's the luxury of playing wide. Alrighty then. So we've started the game, and maybe because the religion or the culture I've selected, it started me with three tech. So we just ended a war against Aragon, and I got completely, unbelievably bulldozed. Every time they attack me, uh, they completely demolish me, regardless of how big my army was it was an absolute nightmare and uh, the generals i rolled uh, are not overly great so unfortunately we had to say we can't win this one today but that's the beauty of playing wide 
Manpower, money, not an issue. We could always pick up the pieces, try again tomorrow. Next goal, we need at least military tech four. Oh my goodness, we need it so badly. All right, to prevent another invasion, because I'm holding, well, a lot of HRE land right now. A lot of HRE land. I'm gonna have to get some alliances just to prevent people from attacking me in the short run. In this case, boom, Venice, Bohemia. They're the two big boys, the HRE. Defend me. At the same time, what I'm gonna have to go for is the privilege that gives extra governing capacity, which I can do that for each of my estates, which I will do. Because in this case, as you can see, governing capacity is a bit of a problem. Until I can fix my governing capacity, there's right, at this point, there's not really much point in expanding. So let's just leave it as is for now. Let us sort out our internal problems before we start branching out. And this, oh man, this is a long time coming. Oh yeah. Boom, tactics, morale. Aragon, I'm coming for you, brother. I'm coming for you. We're at level four right now, so uh, Miltech is looking a lot, a lot, a lot better, and I will not be moving away from Mil4 or any kind of prioritization of military because, oh man, I'm not having that happen again. Aragon, uh, now, not only have they taken some of my land, but they're going down for the rest of the game. I'm probably going to annex the entirety of them. You'll see. You'll see. Uh, current percentage of crown land, 0% on a recount, 0. Uh, at the minute, we're on a minus figure because uh, our army's getting pumped pretty heavily. We may have lost our southern coastline, but this is motivation for our troops to pump harder pump more more the land will be reclaimed brothers the heiress of feedback here is ludi ed historia gaming and and it now will be disinherited goodbye no and you are feedback the rubbish the second ludi you want manpower you can have manpower okay you get a manpower you get a manpower ludi you get a manpower. Enjoy your manpower. All right, Ludi. So we have mutual enemies right now. I want to retake my land from Aragon or the southern coastline. You want to expand into England frontiers. Guess what? They're allied. So we've got a two-pronged assault on the way. So how are we going to do this? So the way I think we should do it is you declare your reconquest war on Aragon. Uh-huh. And do not call me in. I declare a separate war against the English uh, with the uh, conquest of the English lands. And then uh, I keep the English busy, you keep the Aragonese busy, and we piece them out at the same time. So this okay. way we don't get stuck into separate wars. Sounds good. Do you think you could handle them single-handedly, or are you going to want me to give you a boost? Um, I should be fine. Let me see how many troops they got. 31,000. I should be fine. Okay. I'm at level 5 mil tech. My army's drilled to about 50%. I feel super confident, so I'm ready when you are. All right, lights, time for battle. It's time to reconquer this coastline. And as I said to you, two battles, off we go. Uh, so far, so good. Because my southern fort is owned by Aragon. Of course, my southern coastline is a little bit exposed. They're going to be running around the country. I'm going to be playing cat and mouse for a little while. Uh, so, yeah, I have to uh, play chase. We have Ludi here, carpet sieging the south of England. Not an Englander to be seen. Where are their army? Battle for Paris. <laughs> Oh my goodness, without that southern fort, we are highly exposed. Get out of here. Come on, get out. Meanwhile, Ludi, uh, having no problems. Uh, I mean, no surprise there, right? All right, Ludi wants to peace out. Boom, conquest. All right, cut to the chase. I'm done with this. Boom. Damn, we got all the land back and some. Congrats, man. And some. Oh, and also I got a bit of this land in Scotland, Ireland. How did that happen? There you go. Return the lands. Back to Ludi. So, Ludi, 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 let's stop for a second. I want to know what, what's your mentality here. What, what, why this land? Why this land? Well, obviously, it's a good land for expansion. This means I have access to all of the Irish lands and all the Scottish lands whilst I'm waiting for my troops to finish with the English. Ah. So, by the time that I have the next war with the English, I should have all of Ireland and all the north part of Scotland. Hey, look at that purple boy in, in Ireland. It's just asking like, oh, annex me, please, Ludi, please. All right, now, here we go. So, so feedback the rubbish gaming don't quote me an obsessive perfectionist uh, partially true indulgent so true and a naive enthusiast uh, the naive part i'll take that i've reached a point now where i'm like oh oh man i i really want to die well i was gonna finish off arrogant but i guess that's not gonna happen now Someone else did it for me. Yep. All right, boys. A little bit of renaissance. Loans for renaissance. Good idea. Right, 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 right. Definitely. Time for some uh, muskets. And basic financial instruments. That's right. Measuring. We've invented it. It's a thing. That is a nice font. Very close to making your font dwarf England's font. Yay. My 000 finally died. Now we have feedback. Hey. The rubbish gaming. The second. 
there you go, Ludi. Um, England's letting the entire country get occupied while they're landing on me. And uh, come here, come here. I'm oh, seriously, come here. And boop. Elephant be like, wiping. Ludi expands. Ludi land, dwarfing. England land, 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 land. I love the uh, the elephant on the battle summary screen. Uh, you can't actually see the rider on top of it. He's got his head chopped off because <laughs> the elephant is so fucking massive. You just sent me a, a scornful insult, Austria. <laughs> I didn't read it. I imagine the editor will uh, pause it at that exact point and it'll read it out to me. Okay, progress so far. Stability, lowering autonomy, paying loans, uh, drilling a lot. Uh, Ludi on the other hand, expanding, waiting for the truce to end. Oh, it's like watching paint dry. Ludi land is seventh and feed back here for one. Of course, of course. Get on my level, Ludi. Alrighty then, Ludi, war number, is this two or three? I don't care. Anyway, I'm going to help out by taking out Portugal. I didn't get any artillery, so uh, this siege is going to take a bajillion years. Ludi's about to expand and I took just a, a tiny little piece of Portugal, Porto, Portugal. War number maybe three, maybe four. And Ludi could not have done it without the assistance of the ginormous feedback here. Say yes, I, Ludi. I agree. <laughs> yes. I was told to say yes. I was asked to say yes. <laughs> oh, there we go. 77 prestige. We can now form our empire rank, which gives us 400 plus govern capacity. And it's only taken us like 50 years of game time to actually get the right govern capacity. Oh no, we're still under. Yeah, we're still, <laughs> we're still under. 1255 of 1140. Oh God. This is wide problems, boys. Ooh, Bohemia is the Holy Roman Emperor. I'm allied with them. Good. Let's dogpile Austria now. <laughs> All right, well, Ludi has annexed England. Rip. And uh, Denmark is wrapping itself around Sweden. Luckily, keeping it nice and warm and safe for now. Alrighty then. Well, we've reached a golden age of feedbackian culture. Um, if it's anything like my YouTube channel, this will last exactly five seconds. So Ludi right now is fifth in the world and he's deving like crazy. Oh, we're at fourth now. Fourth. Can we get any higher than fourth? Ooh, there's a big jump between these two. Oh, you can see the number going up. Here he goes. This is tall, by the way. Tall boy. Is that it? 585. Is that the highest he can go? So we have the glorious feedback here with its uh, many devs. Ming with its many devs. Ottoman and then Ludi fifth. Fifth. You don't even get a bronze medal for that. My total income is at 113. I'm on. Holy shit. It's massive. Thanks for telling me how well endowed I am. I feel that's going to be my new sub sound. Wow, you're massive. <laughs> So, Ludi, we've come a long way. Um, well, I say I've come a long way. You've definitely come a long way. I think I've gained two provinces from the very, very start of the game. The ultimate goal here was to figure out if you were to blob out as really big from the very beginning with a custom nation, or if you were going to start very small with great ideas, whether you would gain an advantage. If we look at the great powers list, you see I'm number one at 1,352, and you are number five. Oh, damn, Castile shot up. How did that happen? Oh, they've embraced colonialism. The deal is, though, in 100 years, well, it's been less than 100 years, isn't it? It's been like 60 years, 70 years. Um, you've managed to take it from an OPM to fourth, fifth in the world. I mean, if you had another 100 years, there'd be no doubt about it, you'd be second or first. So it does look like being tall is the way forward, having kick-ass ideas. I agree. I agree. Playing tall has always been the best way to approach a country in EO4. But the thing is, we should not diss on uh, playing wide as well. I think a good combination between playing tall and playing wide is the best because no matter how tall you play, you still need to have the provinces to develop once you do start playing tall. Holy shit. It's massive. As always, massive thanks to Paradox for sponsoring this video. And if you want to check out EU4, it is currently free. So click the description below.